Go 1.24 was just released, and this version comes packed with new performance gains, new developer tools, useful standard library additions, and much-awaited improvement in WebAssembly support. In the next couple of minutes, we'll review 5 exciting updates from this new release, and by the end of the video, you'll see that Go is one of the best choices when it comes to programming in 2025. Go is famous for both its simplicity and its stellar performance. What's interesting to see is that the Go team manages to always push things further performance-wise. Thanks to a new built-in map implementation based on Swiss tables, more efficient memory allocation of small objects, and a new runtime internal mutex implementation, the 124 release enjoys runtime improvements that have decreased CPU overhead by 2-3% on average. This might not seem like much, but it adds up significantly in large-scale applications. Every bit of performance gain at the runtime level translates to reduced CPU usage, lower latency, and potential cost savings in cloud environments. What's more exciting is that Go now fully supports generic type aliases. If you are familiar with Go's history, you probably know that one of the main goals of the dev team is to keep the language as simple and as maintainable as possible. As a result, devs fought against the idea of generics for a long time, but eventually introduced them in Go 118 with a carefully designed minimalistic approach. Now, with Go 124, generic type aliases make working with generics even cleaner and more ergonomic. This feature allows developers to define aliases for generic types, reducing redundancy and making large codebases easier to maintain. The Go standard library is also famous for its stability and practicality, and this new release continues the tradition with several useful additions and optimizations. Handling HTTP2 connections is now more efficient, leading to better resource management and lower memory usage in high-load applications. On top of that, JSON encoding and decoding have also been optimized, making API responses faster and reducing CPU strain when handling large payloads. On the tooling side, Go improves the developer experience in a handful of ways. The module system now resolves dependencies faster, cutting down build times especially for large projects. The GoVet tool has been enhanced with additional static analysis checks, helping developers catch subtle bugs early in the development process, and profiling and debugging tools have also been refined, making it easier to analyze performance bottlenecks in production systems. Another major enhancement is the ongoing improvements for WebAssembly support. While not widely adopted, WebAssembly is slowly gaining traction, especially since the demand and expectations we have from web apps is always increasing. It is great to see that Go is tackling this front as well. This new release shows that Go is focusing on the right things, proving that the language is in better shape than ever, so if your resolution for 2025 was to learn a new programming language, Go is one of the best choices.